And Rose went up and sang for Dinosaur Jr. once. Or well, more that's than that's nice. pretty uh, sick. That's I, really cool. Yeah. I once, uh, when I first moved to Pittsburgh, it was like probably early 20s. And maybe I even visited one. I think it was when I visited. It was like I was like 18. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I went to go see, uh, it was like, I used to be like a huge Sublime fan in high school. Yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, after enough. Sublime, after Sublime, they became Long Beach Dub All Stars with like a huge member band. There's like 20 of them or something like that. And then after Long Beach Dub All Stars, they became Long Beach Short Bus. And it was like one or two guys from Sublime and like Didn't one know. or two, other, like two other guys. Mm-hmm. And they, of course, played a bunch of like Sublime songs. And then they like asked who would sing, uh, I think it was what, uh, about the, the song in the riots, uh, April 24th, 1992, like that song. Mm-hmm. They asked if anybody like knew the words and I was like, yeah. And like, I went up and they, they, they made me sing the whole entire song. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Like that was like really fun for me at that age. Yeah. That and, rules. and they thought it was great. And they asked me how old it was. I was like 18. Was like, Oh, I, you wish you're like a little older or whatever. I was like, can I have been the first Rome? Like thinking about that. Sublime with Jason. Yeah, <laughs> some like guy this. named Jason. I like this. Sublime with party with poo and Tim's. Yeah, <laughs> sublime with poo and Tim's. I'm actually old enough to be in the public domain. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that whole entire Mickey Mouse thing is funny because they're always like Steamboat Willie, the first Mickey Mouse cartoon, but it's really like the second or third cartoon. Mm-hmm. Uh, the mm. first one I think was called Plain Crazy, um, and he looked more like a little rat. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was he more was rat rat pilled. Yeah, more rat codes, yeah. Yeah, I cool. keep reading I, that that also yeah. went in the public domain this year, so maybe it was all around in the same. Yeah, yeah for sure, around so, the same time period. Yeah, so did Tigger, but like no one's nearly as excited mm. about that for some reason. That's it's just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And well, he's, Pooh, he's like, already kind of a freak, you know. So yeah, yeah. Freak, yeah. You don't he's really need freak. to yeah. make any adjustments. We need like gangster baby Rue to you know take oh. over the internet. I think. <laughs> For yeah, sure. we need more of those uh, shirts with like the characters with you know chains and big oversized t-shirts. Yes, and... like yes. Rabbit is just like a dickhead, so I can picture Rabbit with like a you know the flat brim hat and like a Monster Energy drink and like Jinkos maybe. I don't know. We have so many t-shirts that we we have so many t-shirts we need to make for the suck that we haven't made yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so true. We got a we got a big bunch of t-shirts coming for you folks this one year. day. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. year, it's our resolution. Yeah, we should do one with Mickey Mouse now. We can. We can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure there's no other t shirts out there with Steam. With the original rat. No, we got to do. Hell yeah, yeah the we got a crazy one. We got to do. Um, we got to do a, a Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse. Um, saying don't have a cow man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it relates to the suck though. There could probably be something about fucking Work something a cow. In. Or something. Yeah, I for know. sure. I, I like the whole entire plane crazy episode because I think in that one he steals Amelia Earhart's airplane. <laughs> I'm like, is she dead already? Is that when he? Yeah, should we, take- yeah. <laughs> she would have been dead by then, I think. That's I, bleak. I think the insinuation, insinuation is it's his fault. <laughs> yeah, he did okay. it. Yeah. Okay, that's the whole reason oh he was in God. the gears. He got it's grinded up. Yeah. It's his fault, and he's also a corpse robber. <laughs> <laughs> Which is impressive because nobody knows what happened to Amelia Earhart. So, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, to, yeah, to be eating to... my crab somewhere. Right. Disney's been in control of things for longer than we, <laughs> we, we thought. I think. True. That's actually why she disappeared because she tried to uh, infringe upon Disney's copyrights. And they yeah, before they even existed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very strong IP lawyers. Look at this drawing I made. I can't remember what's what's her national. Is she like American? Was she American or was I she believe like? So. I think so, yeah. Okay. Uh, Look at yeah, this drawing American, I made. Yeah. It's a Snow White woman. <laughs> she's really, really white, <laughs> and she's like so white. She's the color of the page, and that's why <laughs> they <laughs> killed her. Yeah, they're like genius. We got to take this idea. <laughs> yeah. Let's put her. Let's fly her over our magnets in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> I uh in um in Starfield you can get Amelia Earhart a clone of Amelia Earhart as a companion and nice. uh I, she was my favorite what? one because she like um says like a bunch of old like I don't know why she speaks like she's from like the 1920s I'm mean, because like <laughs> yeah. she's a clone that's lived right. in now like she wouldn't uh-huh. speak like you know but she'll just like scream like I'm popping a uh, popping a pineapple when she like throws a grenade or whatever. It's just it's just 
It's just a weird time. It's a terrible game. <laughs> having a having a pet dead ancient person sounds pretty cool to me, though. Yeah, that's the only yeah, reason yeah. I kept her around. <laughs> I think, yeah, we need more of that in video games in general. Yeah. Yeah, more clones of Amelia Earhart. Please take notes. Yeah. We need <laughs> Helen Keller in there too, right? And Helen, mm-hmm. Keller. <laughs> Helen Keller in a video game. She can fly yeah, a plane. Yeah. <laughs> she's in like she's <laughs> flying a plane by touch alone. Mm-hmm. And she's uh yeah, she's a she's in the uh, cyberpunk DLC that everybody's Yeah, and playing. she's like the uh world champion laser tag champion of, of all time. <laughs> it would be more fun to play her caretaker and you just have to like consistently keep pulling one over on people like <laughs> Yeah, she can fly a plane. Yeah, this is trust me. We we've worked this out. She's uh-huh. ever escalating oh. like things that you have to make her do. <laughs> I bet you she can't fly a plane. Oh, oh, she can. In fact, we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna fly a plane. Somebody else is gonna call. Her. <laughs> Well, welcome back, everybody. It's 2024. It's a new year of the suck. Uh, apologies to all the listeners for a delayed release schedule the last couple of weeks of the year, but uh, you know, that's to be expected. It's just the suck. It's not that mm-hmm. big of a deal. I'm sure you were fine, <laughs> but I do want to just say that we'll be back on our regular schedule now that we're all kind of back in the swing of things. It's so great to see you all. And I mean, speaking of 2024 resolutions and all that, I'm. I'm not drinking my normal Paloma as I would. I'm I'm off the sauce. Oh, me too. Hey. Me too. Like a, week, a weekend now. I started Hell a little yeah. bit before the New Year's. So fun. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm you gonna try to, to go the whole month of January. I'm not gonna quit drinking, but I am going to mm-hmm. redefine my relationship with alcohol. Try so, January yeah. I, I is think, good for that. That's yeah, I think I'm not. I think I'm not going to drink at home. Like I'll drink if I'm like go to a show or like I'm going to WrestleMania, I'm drink there, you know, yeah. <laughs> like mm-hmm. social Good situations. You, I'm not I gonna... mean, you can't go to WrestleMania yeah. without drinking. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's a really some... good rule. Like that's like the perfect yeah, called Steve Weisers. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of how I do. Yeah. Now. I mean, like at home, I was drinking like all the time, you know, like multiple, like every night. So like Same. I'm pretty yeah. dedicated to not doing it. Like I quit smoking, I think 10 years ago now, or maybe 12 years ago. Like it was recently like the anniversary, like uh, maybe a, a mid December, early December. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was like, yeah, I, I maybe smoked like five cigarettes since then. And just like in like social situations, I was like, ah, fuck it. I haven't tried this. Do I still hate it? And yeah, it sucks. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. you see. Yeah. You know? yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like a totally different. It's, it's I like I'll be driving and smell somebody else smoking like in a car in front of me, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know how I ever did it, you know? Like, uh, yeah. But I used to love smoking. In Let's my not car. get it twisted though. I still think smoking is cool. All right, because <laughs> it is cool. It looks no. cool. It just mm-hmm. doesn't. It's objectively cool. cool. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like it as like I I think it's great because like so many um like my friends would smoke, you know, like through my teens into my twenties, and I never I I would smoke socially, but I never got. Like I never bought cigarettes really. And uh, it was always great because like, I would always meet so many people like going out for a cigarette with my friends, you know, mm-hmm. like, yeah. cause it's just like this inner, it's like this immediate, like so we're sure. all standing here smoking, like, Hey, what's, what's up? You know, yeah. it was yeah, great. Yeah, it's yeah. great for that. Like it's a perfect kind of, kind of social lubricant, you know? Yeah. yeah but, it's like a little club that you're just in, you know? The, yeah. The, yeah. Exactly. The secret exactly. member card is that you have fucking cigarettes and you're just like, <laughs> Yeah, we're in the same club. What's up? We're, yeah. mm-hmm. we're all, all we're both slowly killing each, ourselves, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we smell and look like shit. Yeah. Yeah, I to bring <laughs> we both like smelling like shit, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't miss that at all. Um, I was bringing up drinks because I've been doing sugar-free sodas. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been, I got some cream sodas. I got mm-hmm. some uh, orange sodas. I if you ever want any any uh, any zero calorie soda? Uh, uh, suggestions, recommendations. You come well, yeah, I think that we, yeah, we should do that. And I don't, I don't want to jump the shark here because I was going to ask Ashley to give us some tips because mm-hmm. she made a great post about anyone stopping drinking for the New Year's. Yeah. I know Ashley's already been fully invested in the teas mm-hmm. and then just the, the, the little treat drinks that you can give yourself. I was just hoping you could share some of that for our listeners, and then maybe Matt can also give us some 
some gravy sugar free flavored Jones soda <laughs> recommendation. Oh, gravy? You know it. <laughs> <laughs> gravy. <laughs> I mean, turkey and, and potatoes. That's a different thing. Matt also drinks weird flavored sodas sometimes, right? I mean, it's true. Yeah. I do like yeah. that. anything I get my hands on. Sodomizer. I guess we are both kind of like drink specialists. But mm. yeah, no, I mean, I like, <laughs> I like to make um, like weird little mixed drinks. I'll use CBD. Kava is also really great to like mix in there. Um, but yeah, I'll just like do like a seltzer or like mix it with some juice and put like 25 to 30 milligrams of like CBD powder in there, mix it up and just get wow. super relaxed. Hmm. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. Throw mint you leaves. also put like, uh, you also put, yeah, like mint leaves and um, you put like, uh, like vitamins and uh, you can like kind of get, you know, she'll put get like different it. stuff in there, you yeah. know, like, yeah. I yeah I ordered so you can make them healthy. I ordered rose petals, mm -hmm. and I also got like sakura tea, which is like a pink tea that I'm really mm -hmm. excited to like mix together and like make a boba, and I just like do wow. weird stuff, like have fun with it, you know. Have yeah. You, have you tried one of those uh, those teas where it has like that flower bloom and it blooms when you drink it, like in the bottom oh, of the glass? I've had I've had dreams about it. But I've never, I've never actually tried it, but I want to. I, I totally got tea pilled like a couple years ago because I was trying to quit coffee, and I uh -huh. did. I just drank tea for a couple years and caffeine, and totally no sugar. I was just going like cold turkey, everything, this really stoic lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I think, I think my just raw dog in reality is my new thing. That's rough, man. Um, I, I keep saying like my slogan is like life is work, life is pain. <laughs> I just oh, say it to myself no. every day and get used to it and just pretend that's my out my reality. Mm -hmm. And when something, you know, a tasty treat comes by, I'm like, oh, that was really nice. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So I was looking at the different teas and I was like, oh, this blooming one is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've always been too scared to drink it because you got to buy a whole entire like glass like uh, kit for it. They have like the certain see-through glass and mm -hmm. pot and stuff is like that. And you got to buy those pods. It? Is it just the aesthetic of a blooming mm -hmm. flower? That's it. It's not like the flower has some kind of you know nutrients or something yeah not yeah. that i know of i think it's just pure aesthetic therapeutic yeah. it's a well, way I mean, to drink count, tea you know? yeah mm -hmm. it does yeah yeah you drink I'm a with big your guy. eyes you drink with your eyes first before you, you <laughs> yeah, yeah do. Before you drink <laughs> no you know i used to be like a, um I, like i got into cooking like in my early 20s and i uh i used to be more like it doesn't matter what it looks like like you know it's a like but it does though. Yeah, it a hundred percent does. Like, and I, mm -hmm. I try to make like when I make something, it tastes better if it like, <laughs> if I put a little effort into plating it. And I'm not like not nothing crazy, but just like you know some cheese on top, or like some parsley, or like put, oh, yeah, separating garnishes. things into like a nice little group, or whatever. Some it's paprika great. on top to like give it a little paprika. bit of color, you know? Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's not a flavor thing. It's purely aesthetic. Oh, and I want to say sesame seeds. If you're not into like the ritual aspect of making drinks, because that's like one of the appeals for me, I really like just like the paying attention, like the, the process of it. Then there's um, uh, you can buy pre-made CBD drinks online that will relax you at the end of the day. I like them. There's a pro there's a one of them called Wowie, and it's like the cheapest, like highest milligram CBD drink you can get. And I think it's on Amazon, but that's just like a shout out for people who don't want to actually make the drink. Mm -hmm. well, that's awesome. going crazy that's a whole like the... asian sorry, sorry go ahead i was gonna say that's a whole entire asian uh, philosoph philosophical like practice thing uh, that shit. they've done for centuries yeah, yeah it's like just the the practice of making your tea and, and just you know what that means you yeah, know, yeah. That's, that's really nice it can be meditative anything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well i think it relates to like cooking too like you're saying mm -hmm. man i mean I, it's like taking if, if especially if you're doing it as a replacement for like alcohol i mean alcohol is for for me especially it's definitely ritualistic it's like a certain time of the night like it's it's, it's interesting this is the time like the witching hour like from like five to eight i'm like i want to tie one on you know <laughs> like, mm -hmm. but if i get to eight o'clock i'm like not even interested anymore i'm like okay right. mm -hmm. right. i don't really want to have mm -hmm. so you know i'm not into the making of the drink but i thought it was mm -hmm. uh you know, I was curious about that because it seems to me like if you have a ritual of like putting this, you know, making these ingredients, this concoction and then enjoying it for the next however long. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It seems yeah. to me like that would go a long way. Absolutely. doesn't work the same when you just. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the same. Yeah. The sound is nice, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I make it like last. You know? Yeah. For I make me... it last like an hour. And then if it gets hot, I'll pour it over some ice and keep yeah. drinking that. And just... Hot, hot, hot diet sun kiss. Um, <laughs> zero. I, zero. Sorry, hot, hot, sun kiss zero. That's, that's the, we're gonna turn that into. Put a that banger. in your fucking tea. 
You know how people were doing the uh, the whole entire pilk thing, put in like milk and Pepsi. Oh, yeah. uh, I was like, and then there's also the hot Dr Pepper thing. It's been since around since like the, its invention was people drank it hot. But I was like thinking like, oh well, what about the the sun kissed? If you put a little milk in that, will it be like a creamsicle? Yeah, mm. yeah, Probably. yeah. That's definitely a thing. Sure. Good. I mean, well, like I put milk. What if I put milk shape, in this you know? Monster Energy Zero Ultra Sunrise? <laughs> I what, dare what you. What nice. happened then? I would like sun milk. I'll do it. I think the only thing we have here is is creamer that is very expired. So did y'all see, did you see this year for Christmas? Pepsi did like a camp like an ad for Pilk. Wait, like, really? Don't forget to leave out Pilk for Santa. That was, like, <laughs> that was them. Yeah. I thought it was a joke. No, it was a real. I mean, it is a joke, obviously, but it was like a real Pepsi. It wasn't like a meme That's, or something. It was like a shit post. Yeah, it's it was from Pepsi. I mean, you know, it looked like an official ad. It wasn't like you know, oh, it's a Wendy's. Post. Right. It wasn't. Yeah. Bep, it wasn't be, uh, Bepis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true, Speaking true of Bepis, Pepsi. Matt, can you give me any sugar-free uh, Pepsi? Uh, sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you know, soda products that. I so if you heard of, right? So like some people like they don't like the taste of the sugar-free. Which uh, which is typically aspartame, though they do yeah. have different kinds. Like I personally don't like stevia very much. I think it tastes like shit. Yeah. But um, it all depends on like your chemistry, like what it tastes good to you. That's almost certainly aspartame, the sun kiss. Mm-hmm. But the um, I fucking love aspartame. <laughs> I love it personally. But the thing is, it did take me. Good with I had to get used to it. Yeah. After I basically what I you know I didn't want to be drinking uh, uh, like regular soda, so I started drinking. I was just like I'll just force myself to drink diet. And after like. A week of drinking it like just not not uh, not all the time but like having one a day i just like it in fact sometimes i can't even tell like i'll i'll be drinking something at a at a uh, restaurant i'll be like hey ash could you try this to see if this is a if this yeah. is a real soda because i can't even tell really? the difference anymore wow mm-hmm. yeah. yeah it's weird I it's weird it doesn't happen Okay. I prefer the zero sugar ones, but I can tell, and it's almost like maybe it's like a defense thing. Because if I were to drink a whole can of soda with sugar in it, it would be a problem. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, they, uh, they t- I, to me, it tastes like I can't even drink. I don't even want to drink regular soda. Like I, it's disgustingly sweet to me, and, ma- and it makes me feel sick actually if I drink like a whole can of it. But uh, I do find that if you like root beer, that's one of the ones that, for whatever reason, the taste of root beer just overrides the aspartame right, and yeah. it's like well the more it complex, just tastes really good right the more complex the flavor profile is i think that's why yeah the that's diet right. dr pepper kind of yep another good one yeah. yes more than others yeah yeah do. root beer and they kind of like have pepper. that like i don't know that get medicinal taste i guess i don't know what they're like a root taste that seems to that also on top of being complex <laughs> like, it kind of has a little hey, bit of a hey this beer tastes like root <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna call it Who's sticking their dick in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started my search one day when we went to Target, and Target was pretty slim pickings. It was very funny mm-hmm. to me because they had an aisle that said like non-alcoholic drinks, mm-hmm. and then you know that's just like every drink, right? I mean, that's not. Yeah. It's just drinks. But right. it was so funny because I like we went down the aisle thinking like, oh yeah, maybe Target's hip to this. Maybe they've you know bought in some interesting products. Really, it was just like Heineken non-alcoholic. You know, which yeah, yeah. I don't kind of know stuff. if I've said this on the show before. Heineken Double Zero fucking rules. It's mm-hmm. one of the best non-alcoholic beers by by far. This, <laughs> I think and, you have said that on the show before, yeah. but that's that's a good tip for this episode for for the listeners that are on the same page. Oh, it is so good. Have you tried a uh, Fresca? No. Fresca's great. Fresca fucks. Yeah, Fresca yeah. is Fresca fucking is great. What is Fresca's hell. flavor? Is it ginger it ale? Is a, right? So it's is a great it's grapefruit. But it's oh. it's kind of like generically citrus with with like a, a grapefruit kind of vibe yeah, to it. Yeah, it, it has it a lemon delicious. lime feel to yeah, it, yeah. despite being grapefruit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It's it's a I just get one I, for some reason it tastes considerably better in a can. So don't I don't really I'll get it sometimes just because I'm addicted to Fresca. But the uh, but like the two liter bottle. Not even close to as good as get like a fresh can that's like mm. nice and cold from the fridge. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Makes a big difference. Makes a big difference. I think it tastes different to drink it out of metal or something that can conduce can is conducive of the temperature. Is that yeah, am I saying that? That might be it. I don't know, but it's it is a big difference. Um, it's also really good over ice. I I, I like a root uh, a diet root beer and Fresca over ice. It, yeah. it like just waters it down yeah, and it's yeah. just like really refreshing. I'm, yeah. I'm definitely into that. Yeah. I feel you. Like the syrups can be too much if you just let them sit and water down. It's 
It's a little better sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I think Absolutely. I'm just gonna be like a masochist this year. I'm gonna start drinking like tonic water. Uh, dude, <laughs> yeah, <damn. laughs> I bought tonic water to like mix into uh, the drinks. It tastes like ass. Yeah, tonic well, yeah, it's not... the, the quinine, right? Tastes I, I thought it was <laughs> she was asking me. <laughs> tonic water. What is this? Good. What did I buy here? And I was like, Oh, that's like a mixed drink thing. It's like Ugh. not meant to be yeah. drank by itself. Well, yeah, tonic water <laughs> is tonic water is is not app is like so poorly named because mm-hmm. yeah. it's it's actually it's worse for you than most other like things that yeah, you it's can very sugary wow. it's, it wow. it's extremely sugary I didn't realize that. um mm-hmm. it's extremely bitter. sugary and bitter. Very bitter i fucking yeah. love quinine though i'll tell you what i bought <laughs> i have bought several non-alcoholic gins over the last few months and mm. one of them's really good i can't remember what it is off the top of my head um but uh with with some time you know making like a gin and tonic with that is just Mm -hmm. like Mm. that it rules to me but you really have to like the way that shit tastes right it's it's bizarre and i've been trying to like i've been trying to like counter it with like very sweet things and i'll i'll figure it out eventually like what to put it in but by itself it's not orange juice always helps but then again it's like that's just more sugar so yeah Mm -hmm. We'll get there. If you yeah. ever have a twitch, like your your eyelids twitching and you can't get tonic it to go water? away, supposedly tonic water can help with that. Yeah. I can't remember exactly why. Yeah, it's good for you. Uh, uh, potassium tonic. also, like bananas, I think. If you eat a banana, mm-hmm. that gets rid of your eye twitch. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Lay out the yeah. caffeine. That'll and... get rid of your eye twitch. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I do want to bring this up before it's too far behind us that... Apparently there was a body lotion. I think that Jason oh, and Willow were going to try it on the show. The yeah. body lotion that attracts spiders. I'm wearing it right now. How's it going? How many wolf spiders you got? There's like that basketball player from And One. He's just around. <laughs> What's what? so funny? Spider? <laughs> It relates to the charge lemonade because I kept seeing the same like Anne Hathaway meme, which I'm s I don't know what that's mm-hmm. from, where she's like, Are you drinking the I think it's like what Devil Wars product? Devil Wars product, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I have never seen it, so there you go. But um I never did either, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that connected the dots for me, but I don't know like what why I mean, what is she drinking in the movie or what is she having in the movie that relates? She's she's wearing like something awful and she works for like a, a fashion industry person and she's just like, Got Oh it. gross, I can't believe you're wearing the crocs or whatever. I see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. So then it's even easier to just add an, a product to that frame because yeah. there was not anything right. there. But... Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Anytime. But are wolf spiders are they dangerous? I don't know if they're like. I don't think they are. Like... I don't think they're like particularly dangerous, but it's like this one is really interesting to me too because it was just one review of one person who's just like, I saw a bunch of wolf spiders after I put this on. <laughs> Everybody's like, this really nice body cream attracts wolf spiders. Yes, yeah. one person. <laughs> yes, which is like so... I I really love I really love um. <laughs> What's She's like, like I, I see like maybe five a year and I put on this body lotion and I saw like 10 of them in my house. <laughs> so weird. So weird. I thought there was like an actual like ev- evidence based like study that had shown. So, you just assume things. I, I, yeah, yeah. I looked into it and it was like one asshole. Nothing. That is insane. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, great job. Great job. <laughs> uh, but like, I really like their stuff um right it's got cool like the bum bum cream mm-hmm. the nice. bum bum oh, cream <laughs> and uh yeah the like the whatever the, the foot stuff is that they have um mm. but like don't... <laughs> but yeah i was like oh i guess i can't use that now and it's like because <laughs> i don't like spiders because <laughs> one person somewhere probably that has a lot of spiders and also maybe made the whole thing up just said i have spiders now i did check it says wolf spiders are not poisonous so i mean if you can just cohabitate with them you'll you'll be you'll probably be fine maybe you have a little midnight snack you know and just you didn't realize it just walked in and yeah so you wake up you wake up full of protein 
They're, they are the most perverted <laughs> spiders, so that makes a lot every of morning sense. When I wake what up now. does that mean? How does a spider be the most perverted? What's the quality? I don't know. I was making that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're the ones you always find in the shower that are in the corner. What yeah, they always, their, their tongues unfurl. They howl whenever yeah. they see. They, they they picture you as a piece of meat. It's disgusting. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, throw me to the wolf spiders. I'll come back pregnant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Hey, that should be on the Sephora lotion. Yeah, I, agree. I, agree. But I see there's an uh, there's an article here where a biologist says like they reported to the New York Post of all fucking publications and they said that there's like almost no way that the spiders are actually attracted to this lotion. Like there's yeah. nothing in it that would indicate that they would be attracted to it. Right. One well, girl just had sense. a paranoid break. And just saw a lot yeah, of wolf she spiders. She is my... just attractive to the wolf spiders. Yeah. Personally. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. have bad news for you. I'm sorry. The spiders, they love you. <laughs> they are picturing back you. They crave team. your flesh. And um, there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> yeah. She also took the, you know, wolf attracting uh, uh, per- perfume that day as well. <laughs> yeah. Spider right. attracting. I also did yeah, spray myself with wolf bomb. piss. I don't know. <laughs> Did I say wolf spiders? No, I meant it was actually wolves. It was not wolves. Sorry, coming. All ten wolves. It was crazy. (laughs) Never see that many normally. (laughs) Before we run out of time on our main episode, I did want to touch on one of the most recent and crushing uh, news items to hit. I feel like our sphere uh, of uh, you know, I don't know, not not influence, but you know the. The community is is left reeling after hearing the news that Viper, uh, the the you know he's basically a meme at this point, but he is a very <laughs> terrible rapper that became known all across the internet for his don't, terrible songs. Let, it's, let's not say terrible rapper, idiosyncratic. Why don't we say idiot? <laughs> no? I, mean, I think terribly the idiosyncratic. Of the quite poor. Like I usually rapper couldn't hear what he was saying. You know, it was usually this is a Viper rap to me. <laughs> I'm like that's terrible. Like I can't actually hear what you're saying. So it's not necessarily the subject matter. The OG mumble quality. rapper. But also- uh, you know, everybody really enjoyed Viper's presence on the internet for a long time. There's obviously somebody else that he was partnered with to put out all these videos that were just on a whole nother level. But uh, I guess one came out like yesterday. That was the news story that Viper had kidnapped a woman and held her captive in his garage for four or five years. And they made the music video over this news story reporting this, which is pretty fucked up. Oh Not to God. say that the, the doing of the act was by far way more fucked up. But still, I'm just like, wow. I mean, come on. Like, just, you know, insult to injury here. He, like, for- he forced the lady to smoke crack with him. Oh, no, God. even worse really? than that, all she ate the entire time, it seems, all she ate the entire time was Twinkies and chips. Oh, That's my God. All he God. fed her on. She, she, how, she, how, how does she not have scurvy? Well, she's very ill. She yeah. pumped 70 pounds when she oh, crawled out of the she's window. In very, very bad shape, according yeah. to the article. And that's the thing is, I didn't believe it at first because the only article that was going around was on like some sketchy website that, like, had yeah. a bunch of pop-ups that you couldn't close and would, you know, eventually lead you into... Yeah, just a typical local news station. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, exactly. But then, yeah, it did start to to come out other places as well. But I was like, I was so convinced that there's no way that if it was real, they would actually do that video. But, like... Think, yeah. about, think about the type of person you'd have to be to do that in the first place and how, like... Yeah how low of an opinion you would have to have about like women and this woman in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then it's, it's very possible. Yeah. To do no, absolutely. Well, like I cannot believe like, well, the video that I, the, I, 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 uh, Ashley was like next to me when I saw that and I was like, Oh shit, a Viper. Like, I don't know if this is real. And then I like started looking and I saw that it was real. And then I played a, a video and there was like, you know, it was like kind of a typical news story kind of thing. And mm-hmm. they didn't even mention that he was a r- rapper or like yeah. had any fame at all. Right. And then they they cut to this guy that like w- that lived by the building that they found the lady in. I have the actual quote like- if you want. OK, me yeah, yeah. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. One of Carter's neighbors believes that he was running a human trafficking operation and other illegal activity from his home. Quote, quote 
he had just kind of explained that um, he had some girls that were in there and never used the word locked up, but um, he was kind of protecting them from themselves. Um, (laughs) From the sounds of things, she would call him his boyfriend, her boyfriend. So, I mean, it was kind of a mutual weirdness, I guess. What? Well, the article that I read said that, that she had gotten out in the past and was returned to him like yeah she was hospitalized and then uh he went and picked her up from the hospital and no one was like don't do that (laughs) oh wackadoo bonkers world we live in yeah jesus christ yeah didn't that happen to jeffrey dahmer's last victim or whatever they returned him after he ran away yeah oh yeah yep yeah they did god man I i couldn't even imagine like that being that person like finally getting out and then just all right time to go back to your I'm owner go back to your fucking but abuser like the amount of dedication because like he went on tour you know like how like the dedication it takes to like lock this one and keep this woman the, the emotional and like psychological abuse to like keep her locked in the garage like that like there are men i know who can't wash their ass or do laundry and like <laughs> they just like this dude just like so dedicated to keeping this woman the through and through you need to have to keep this person in your fucking garage, man. Yeah. Insane. It's yeah. It really begs the question, can we separate the art from the artist? No. no. Why would you want <laughs> what kinds of gems are coming out of? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The, the timeless classic you old cowards don't even smoke crack. <laughs> I couldn't just end the episode on such a down, a down mood. So yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah much to, yeah, much to think about for our for our listeners. Can you? Yeah, they, they need a uh, Burzum collab mixtape. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, in the new year, we're gonna get a a a yay uh, Varg Vikernes, uh Viper Viper from from institutionalized Viper tape. To the jail phone sampled <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah i like that weird nazi he got <laughs> one of my best friends in this country you got all the all the tech pros and college kids this is a genius he's a genius yeah uh-huh <laughs> well i want to welcome back all the listeners uh yeah. we we've missed you and thank you for being back with us uh we've got several still sucks. more it's been a busy 2024. <laughs> we we haven't even touched on Cat Williams, uh, Gypsy Rose, uh, the Epstein documents, uh, oh, Left God. Book Rap. There's so much more that we're going to continue to to talk about. You say and Left the, Book Rap? Yeah, Rounds. yeah, we'll get to that. Okay, Don't great, worry. great, oh. great. <laughs> but, uh, thanks for tuning in. If you've enjoyed the show or if you're also participating in Dry January, I hope we gave you some nice things to sip on to get you... Uh, better habits going and uh pop if you have any these. suggestions if, if it's 11 p.m in... pop pop a monster <laughs> impressive willow i don't know how you do that would... drink drink uh three waters before bed and piss yourself yeah <laughs> wake up by 1 a.m you know with the big pisser going yeah. but uh, yeah if you have any suggestions <laughs> join us in the discord it's always in the show notes or the suck shame posting let us know what you're sipping on in january and uh if you really like the show, get on the Patreon or the Spotify bonus episodes because we got more to talk about for you. Just in a couple days, we'll put that out. Mm-hmm. All right, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, wait, before we go, I did. I want to plug. I did a, a an episode of 38 at 38. Yeah. Uh, I got yeah. interviewed by Aaron Bolton about my worst job story. So also check that out. Okay, now bye. And the Ashley episode. Half of us has been on there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two fists. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, goodbye. Okay. Bye. Bye.